What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be showing you guys a brand new R4T product for the third gen Tacoma. So I'm going to show you my Tacoma real quick, show you the product and then all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. So this here is our 2017 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro with our brand new wheels that we have just put on for SEMA 2022. Let's go inside and show you guys what we're looking at. So normally right here will be a little cubby, which I will show you guys in a little bit. We made a product that will fit right in here and it'll work with the Switch Pro, Ox Beam, any other one that looks like an Ox Beam, and it's gonna fit right here. So on our bench here, we got a couple things lined out to show you guys first. Is going to be the factory panel this is what the back looks like most of them will have the jellyfish launcher aka the cab light so you guys can see there it looks like a truck launching a jellyfish from the back but it's actually for the cab light so off and on or in the middle would be auto all the way over would be on and then we have two small style switches. And you can tell how, be, the reason why we call those small is because the very last one is a tall style switch. And this works great for those of who don't want to run lights, accessories, and a bunch of other things. But if you guys are anything like us, you guys have a bunch of lights and other stuff on your truck you guys will want to change this up. So this normally will have a cubby right here. Normally people throw change or whatever there. People don't really carry change anymore. So that's that cubby is kind of useless. So moving on to our panels. This here, let's open up this box first actually. This is what it will come in. Okay, nice foam padding. This here is what it will look like inside. So you'll get first the adapter plate. This plate will allow you to use a Switch Pro. And then the panel itself, the main panel, will this hole right here will allow you to run an aux beam or something similar that is not branded anything on top there. But it looks pretty much the same. And it pretty much is. Back over here to the box, you guys will see a new jellyfish launcher, AKA cab light, but it is vertical. And the reason why we changed it is because if we were to move this one, which is horizontal over, that switch would have to read like this. And you can see why we didn't want to do it that way. So we flipped everything vertically, so that way it looks like this. On will be up, off will be down, in the middle would be automatic. And then we went ahead and changed all of the lower switches, so there is no more tall switch. Everything is identical, everything is symmetrical, so it looks a lot better than having just a random tall switch at the end and a horizontal switch all the way to the left. So now we moved the cab light switch up there next to the switch panel and then all switches on the bottom are the small style. So that makes it symmetrical. It looks a lot better. The quality of this plastic is the same as OEM if not better and you can run any switch well, not any, but the aux beam, which is the cheaper option, or you can run the Switch Pro, which is the more premium op option, more waterproof, and it looks just as clean with the adapter plate as the aux beam. Even though there is another piece around it, it still looks super clean. So now let's go ahead and talk about these small switches. So as you guys can see right here, on the very bottom right 
me see if I can set my camera down here. Very bottom right, you guys will have your rear window. So 2017 and up will have this window. Works the exact same way. Push in and pull up to open and close. This one right here, the air compressor switch is an aftermarket switch. Works great. There's no sticking. And then right here, if you guys have a anytime camera from us, you guys know this one. Front button will show the front camera. Middle would be neutral. Uh, so when you throw it in reverse, it'll show your reverse cam on your uh, head unit. And then rear will show your rear camera. And this is cool because you can use it anytime you want. This one is just a blank. And obviously you guys can fill it in. So here I have a blank switch, which you guys can pick up later at runningfortacos.com and just put it in if you guys don't have anything there. Obviously not functional, but it covers up the hole so it doesn't look like this. So there's the blank. And then lastly, this is pretty common for pretty much every third gen Tacoma. The uh, electrical outlet that is in the back in the bed, turn on, turn off. This light lights up um, when it's on and off. So there's that. A few more switches that I want to show you guys is for the guys with the new Ur Tacomas, we'll have the auto high beam. So that click that on and off. The That's another air compressor one. This one here is the Miso Customs um, puddle lights. So on your mirror, you can flip that on and off. And then we just have another um, outlet one. So showing you guys the different switch options you guys can put on here. As long it, as it is, as long as it is a small style switch, which is like any of these, including the rear window, it will work. And the reason for that is we made the bottom so that way it works with the window and all the small switches, including the toggle ones that are like that. So pretty cool. The back of it is like that. This one here will work the exact same way. And the adapter plate fits in there like so. Now that we've have shown you guys this, let's go over to the truck and show you guys what you need to do to make this work. If you guys are like us, you guys have a bunch of accessories, lights, wee boosts, antennas, air compressors, stuff like that, and all that stuff, you guys will already most likely have either cut some stuff or done some trimming or stuff to make things work. So this is where we show you guys how to make that panel work. So back here from factory, it will be made for that little cubby and you guys will need to basically trim that so that way it looks like this. So when you look directly in there like so, it'll have a nice hole that is pretty much flush with the outer edge of this um, panel. There is very minimal cutting. It'll probably take about five minutes if you guys have a small reciprocating saw or even a little hand saw. That's pretty much what I use with a box cutter when I first did this way back in the day. Uh, when we were using the very old panels. But now that we have this, we cleaned it up a little bit, made it a little bit smoother, so that way it looks nice. Even though it won't matter because all of this stuff would be hidden, none of this will be seen, so you guys don't have to worry about that. So this is Keith's truck. I'm gonna show you guys what the factory one looks like. So right here, hopefully you guys can see that. It's a little bright. This is the factory one, and Keith, uh, you need to clean the inside of your <laughs> truck. But this is what the factory one looks like here, and it does have that little cubby, like I mentioned, so you can put stuff in there, which he has stuff in there. But it doesn't have any empty spots, as you guys can see. Uh, his is a manual, so he does have the clutch start cancel button. We are going to have a small style switch 
that will have the clutch start cancel button on there so you guys can replace that if you guys do have a manual so that way it's all small styles on the bottom he does have the auto high beam the power button for the back and then the cab light button as well but i wonder where he puts all his other switches and it is all right here let me see if i can brighten this up a little bit so right down here he has all of his switches just zip tied like this so um we might have to help you out with that keep we have a aux beam and a switch pro that you can see, use and move it up here. I'm gonna pull this off real quick, show you guys what it looks like back here. So, I got this panel popped off, and this is what it looks like back here. So this will have a little section here that you guys will need to cut out. These are for this factory panel to slide into, but the new panel won't need this. So you guys will trim right here, down so this little corner needs to go and then the only other spot to trim out is this other side so cut all the way over down so those two little spots are the only two you need to trim out um, down over here there's nothing else to trim so pretty easy to modify this section for the new panel so what I have done is I put the switches that my truck has so whatever your switches you guys have from factory reinstall those on the new panel here so that i have the power outlet i am going to be installing the miso customs puddle pod so i have that one there put two blanks right there and then i have my rear window switch right there the switch pro is what i have on my truck so if you guys use, are using aux beam be sure to install your aux beam here so Switch Pro provides you with four studs that you just twist on, put these brackets on, and then put the nylon locking nuts on the back side and tighten it down. That will sandwich the Switch Pro to the panel so that way it doesn't go anywhere. So now that's good. The last thing we need to do is going to be the vertical switch. So what we need to do is we need to grab the horizontal switch first so this is the factory panel as you guys can see here we got the horizontal switch right there so we need to pull it off first so using a flathead we're going to pry right here there is a tab on this side and the opposite side so pry that and apply some pressure to the face of the switch flip it over do the same and then it'll fly out just like so. Now we got the switch out, we just need to pop the face out. So next, using the same flathead, we're gonna pry on that little circle right there. You could probably pop it off with one side, but there is two sides, so if yours does not come off on one side, do both. Inside this panel, you will see two LED um, little bulbs there one side ours is the top it has a white clip in there on both sides that white clip will correspond with this round part on the face of the button this one right here this one's flat this one's round so white with round remember that now we can just pull the face off to pull the face off pretty easy same thing there's a little hole right here. We just put our flathead in, pry it down, drops right out. Super easy, nothing to it. Now we can dispose of the horizontal switch face. I'm gonna grab our new switch face from inside the box. We will need to pop it onto this piece here. So, pop it on. Like so, clips right in real nice, solid. And then remember, the white part, which is up there, corresponds to the round part on this. So we'll line that up. And then clip it right in. There we have it. Super easy disassembly and reassembly. 
Now, grab our new panel from the back side. I'm gonna feed it through and it will clip in place. One thing to note is that make sure when you guys are putting this back together, the on obviously should be on top. Turn it on its side. You should see this line on the switch that will correspond with this line on the new panel. So just line that up and then push all the way in and it'll clip in nice and sturdy. Now that's working. Make sure everything else is working as well. Now you are ready to install this on a truck. Over on the truck here, we want to double check everything before we install this. First off, make sure you guys have trimmed everything to fit the new panel in without any of the switches or anything hitting anything else. Next, make sure you guys have the switches that you guys pulled out. So I have my outlet. I have this one that I'm gonna be installing a little bit later, the puddle pods. And then I have the rear window switch as well. And then my cab light. So I have already ran the switch pro in here. I've had that for a while. So it's been, this has been waiting for a while for me to install and make this video. But now we can go ahead and reinstall everything. So my outlet will plug in right there. And once again, whatever you guys have is gonna be a little bit different than mine. Especially if you guys have one of the newer models. Okay, plug everything in. Lastly, my Switch Pro harness here. Clip that in. The light on the Switch Pro should come on right there. Now we are ready to go. You guys can test it, make sure everything works. And then mine appears to work, my cab light and everything. So now I'm gonna tuck it all back in there and then clip it in. There we go. Nice, solid connection. This thing is not going anywhere, especially not gonna vibrate, noise issues. I can now peel the little sticker that was on the vertical cab light face. So now I got that and I can see my, my uh, rock lights from here that I tapped into the cab light with. Let me try my rear window and that works as well. And my light on my power works and the light on the Switch Pro works. Obviously the only thing I don't have wired up yet is the puddle lights, which I will do later. But now we are all done. So there we have it guys. Super factory look, super clean. It looks just like factory, the same texture as the factory. And then obviously the most important part, all the switches fit. All the lower buttons are now small buttons. They look symmetrical. Everything is the same. This panel is nice and flush. This cab light is now reading the proper way and it works just exactly like factory. So overall, I say this is a really, really cool product that we came out with uh, and we it took us a little bit of time to make it, but I believe it came out really, really nice. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have a lot of lights and accessories like we do, this is definitely gonna come in handy. All right guys, that is gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you guys like this new product that we're coming out with. We are gonna be coming out with one for the fifth gen Forerunner and the third gen Tundra as well. So if you guys have one of those vehicles, be on the lookout for that. And we do a lot of installs here and there's really no place for a switch controller to go. So we are coming up with OEM look and OEM fitment solutions for those. So. That way we don't have to use Velcro, double-sided tape, and other things like that to temporarily mount these without drilling into panels. So hopefully you guys like these products. Be on the lookout. We'll have it in the description. It'll be on our website. And if you guys are local to us, you guys can come pick one up here and have it installed with us if you guys want. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. <laughs> 
if you guys are not already and we'll see you guys later.